Press Daily Update by 1912. Bringing humanity home, energy event update, all prophecies are about to come true. Green beans love beans. We are in very exciting energies indeed as we prepare for a global energy event and reboot. This upcoming reboot will clear away a lot of the denser energies and then in these next weeks we anticipate much movement towards humanity's destiny. We have shared this was love's year, the year of the dragon, the snake, which is the kundalini energy of pure love. All prophecies are about to come true. This is the reality unfolding now on planet Earth equal heart. The sun has quieted down right now. This could change quickly. Our earthquakes, on the other hand, after a quiet period, have been increasing. Japan is still rocking, and we are paying close attention to this area in the Ring of Fire. We also have a few volcanoes awakening we are observing as well. What we are also accomplishing tomorrow is we will complete what we accomplished on May 5th when we collectively broke through the matrix. Now we activate and merge all timelines into one. Cobra Reboot of the Grid. Reboot of the Grid is the turning point of the window of opportunity, and it is coming. Let's dissolve the matrix and let's reboot the grid. A blog from Cameron Day. Another key difference is that the galactic alignment occurring tomorrow night will bring more galactic core energy online than was available even just one week ago. In fact, this energy started coming online last night, so you can get a feel for it right now by engaging a strong, calm cosmic flush. Will this be the final chapter in the story of the Dark Grid? I don't know, but I sure hope so. We will need a large number of people participating, so please check your time zone and participate with us. Last night, we could feel the energy beginning to come in. We saw and experienced huge waves of love energy penetrating the magnetic field, and everything went into still point. This energy is God consciousness energy and cannot be stopped. Here is a message we received via Skype in our response to this event, which occurred at the same moment we experienced this energy. Maya, all feels as if it's stabilized in the moment, at least out here, ultra harmonized. Granted, this is always one's goal, bring all to a harmonic space, and everyone working together, it's beautiful. Father, Mother, God, Amun Ra, oh, by the way, I saw your message, I walked outside and looked at the trees on the mountain. I was talking with the angels and the trees, and I said, wow, still point. I then saw all the love energy begin pouring through in huge amounts. Another event we experienced today was a rainbow in the daylight appeared above us in town. Unfortunately, we did not have our camera with us. However, when we came back, we read Don's experience about the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow. The Mayan prophecy is coming true. We have arrived at the moment in the year the great winged serpent would appear. This is why we will be at the Ascension Rock tomorrow to activate the codes and begin the energy movement for humanity's complete freedom into all of is. We are the prophecy coming true in complete manifestation. Mayan prophecy, the return of the Jaguar serpent, the center of the sky, the sun and Pleiades conjunction on May 20th, Quetzalcoatl manifestation, the Mayan Lord predicts that after a global earthquake, the new man of knowledge will return to Earth and usher in global government. We have shared this is the year of unity consciousness. This is also the year of the return of the masters. We are close to all these truths to manifest as prophesied. We have shared before that these events have been in motion for a very long moment, and they are inevitable. But the gods are returning. Decreed by heaven, all prophecies of love are to come true in manifestation. The gods are returning as prophesied. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all of others unconditionally, we are so in love with humanity. Love the galactic repress staff, humanity's earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground crew team.